thanks for coming. Great to see you all again. Uh, let's get going. Buzzing. Poo exercise. So this one, for those of you who haven't joined us, uh, poo exercise, we start with our lips together. We're just blowing through, playing a, uh, an eighth note, pianissimo. And then we increase that by an eighth note and one dynamic or one half a dynamic level each time. We're going to play eight in a row. And then we're going to play one articulated at the end. So um, just uh, call and answer. And uh, if you don't get it the first time, you'll get it the second time. Don't worry. <laughs>
Terrific. So this is to try and get us to um, to make sure that the air is the thing that is starting notes and, and getting things moving, uh, not the articulation. It's an important thing to start with. I find if I, if I let my tongue get involved too early in the day, uh, I end up not using my air as well as I would like. And, uh, and things don't go so well. I get focused on my chops instead of focusing on setting up my air string. So for me, that's pretty important. Uh, we'll continue down uh, repeated note exercise. Uh, again, same thing, call and answer. If you haven't done this before, after going through this once, you'll be fine, don't worry. But focusing on that the air stream is exactly the same for each group of notes and that the articulation is just cutting that air stream. We don't wanna have this sort of shape going through with the air stream in each direction. <laughs> So focus on the airstream and the tongue hitting the same spot every time, just cutting the airstream, not interrupting. It's really important. All right, a little bit of uh, flexibility. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
try this one it's not difficult but well, it's not difficult for you guys it's going to be difficult for me to remember <laughs> Do you 
have something for us? No, good morning, everybody. Sure. Morning. This is this is the Crable crack the ceiling. Cool. At least that's what I call it. Uh, on your F horn, starting on your A flat or D flat constant. <laughs> So you slur three do re mi and then articulate it, and then you go, and it should be really smooth and gooey. And if it's really too separated, you're not blowing air correctly, and then your tongue can ride on the air, and you work all the way up until you're on your B flat horn, all the way up to the top. Nice. Okay, here we go on your A flat horn. my shepherd crying in the background it was very funny <laughs> <laughs> awesome thank you gail great uh okay from the sublime to the ridiculous we move uh from a from someone who played in the san francisco symphony for many many years to someone who is still currently playing in the san francisco symphony but on a different instrument uh mark anyway this is one that we did last week so we're going to play we're going to move from the top of the register down to the bottom uh so we're going to play on the on a low g for horn which is a c um on our normal g fingering and then we're going to play half step fingering higher but we're going to play this the same pitch as the g so this is really to build strength for our low register
As that one gets lower, it gets harder. But uh, really good for uh, for teaching your face where to put the notes in that register, keeping keeping good strength and air strength. Okay, uh, slightly new one for this week. This is a, a James Stamp exercise. This is an expanding uh, exercise. So we we're, we're going into the lower register, but also I'm working gradually higher. Uh, F horn. Come on. Uh, this one is uh, this one is F one. And then we go back to the middle C and we're going to extend a little bit higher. So we keep going up the arpeggio of this one until we reach um, the top of the range. So the last iteration of this will be... community page so that you can check that out. Uh, if you're not yet a member of the IM community page, it's pretty simple. Just uh, go on to the Invested Musician uh, page and then uh, and then you can click the link to become a member of the IM community. That's where we put all the warm-up stuff. Uh, we're gradually adding adding pieces to that. But but what's, what's important about any time we're breathing, particularly in the warm-up, for me, it's the quality of the breathing, not necessarily where you're breathing. So it, if, you, if you need to breathe in the middle of an exercise, don't feel that it needs to be um, extremely uh, quick, right? 
Uh, it just needs to be in a relax. You're trying to set up a mechanism that's nice and relaxed, and uh, and, and it's going to give you you know a good a good basis for the rest of the day. Uh, yes, my horn is backwards. For those of you who've just worked that out, yes, that's quite correct. I, my horn stands in B flat. We may have talked about this one other time, but yeah, I discovered when I left college um, that I played most of the time on a B flat horn, and having my thumb down all the time just was not very practical for me. So I took two weeks. It changed in two weeks, and it took me two months to, before it was before I stopped making mistakes. Next one, Elizabeth. Can you give us your exercise, please? As promised from last week. So it will be the arpeggio. <clears throat> and we do A notes, tri triples, sixteens, and it ends on octave, sixteens notes. <laughs> Thank you. Elizabeth introduced us to this one a couple of weeks ago in the Colburn warm up and I've been practicing and I can, I'm getting better, but it's great. It is not, but thank you, Elizabeth. Terrific. Very good. Very good. Okay. Uh, scale pattern. <laughs> Thank you. 
And inspired by Gail, we're going to do her progression in terms of uh, the the um the harmonic. So we're going to go. We'll go. We'll start going down the semitone. Oh, sorry, wrong way. Sorry, Gail. We got? Oh, sensitivity. So this is this is a new one, really simple one. Uh, for me, this is um, something that I use when a lot when we've been doing a lot of heavy playing. So a lot of uh, you know, if we're playing Mahler, Bruckner, you know, Strauss stuff, uh, I'll, I'll tend to do this several times during the day. So this is just to bring bring the focus back into the into the center. So. Uh, we start on the F horn uh, on, on an A flat, a horn A flat, so second and third. And it's just a little noodling one, as soft as you can, and you just want to try and feel the inside of your lips working. So hopefully I can get this. <laughs> Thank you. 
Terrific. So quite similar to uh, the Crable exercises, these ones, um, but very, very handy to have when you've been doing a lot of heavy stuff for me. Glissando. Okay, uh, two octave chromatic. We're only gonna do this once because, because just because. <laughs> Cool. 
we did hopping a couple of weeks ago, I think, a little bit of hopping. So we're going we're to incorporate that into movement now. So we're going to just do a basic F major arpeggio, descending and ascending, and then we're going to add hops on the front of those notes. <laughs> Terrific. Uh, what I realized is that we haven't done any multiple tonguing stuff in this class. And I realized this the other day with, with my Coleman students as well. So um, we're going to try something. This could be interesting. Oh. 
Terrific. And, and to finish, we have to finish with the elephant, of course. So, do that. <laughs> Thank you, everybody.